that you can unite this party like no other man in this party, even more than our candidate, by using just a few words. And we need, and we need to do it now. We cannot do it now. We need to stand with you, and you need to stand with us. Here, here. So, sir, I, I appreciate your comments. And, and I will have to confess, what you said would be easy to do. How many people here are frustrated with politicians who just say anything? Let, 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 let me, let me, I'm going to answer your question. Listen, there are a lot of options that I could have taken that politically would have been a heck of a lot easier. There's option number one, which a whole bunch of people took, which is turn tail and run and don't come to the convention. There are a bunch of people that did that. I ain't one of them. There's another option. Let me tell you the politically easy option is to stand up and pledge your allegiance to whoever the party nominee might be, no matter what. If you're an elected official, that's the right political outcome. And I'm going to tell you something, sir. I'm not going to lie to you. Whether you want me to or not, I'm not going to lie to you. And what I said last night is what I believe. So, yes. support Donald Trump. I said support the party. The party. You know, I, okay, so, his, so your point was support the party. The Republican Party, and, and I will point... The party has spoken. So, sir, sir, I'm happy to answer questions, but I'm not going to engage in a screaming match. I actually believe in treating people with civility and respect. When it comes to supporting the party, number one, the four years I've been in office, there are an awful lot of elected officials in this room and across the party and across the country that I've traveled the country, I've traveled the state of Texas campaigning for, raising money for, fighting to help elect Republicans. But let me be very clear, this isn't a social club. It's not simply Reagan gave a powerful speech 40 years ago where he said the Republican Party is not a fraternal order. It's not just my club. We either stand for shared principles or we're not worth anything. 